Okay, so here we go. We've got a big sheet of pretty scuzzy MDF, which is a bit, if you have a look on the end, it is a little bit bowed. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So what I've got here is my cutting layout, and this was based on a, a 650 by um, 1800 and something millimeter piece of 3 mil MDF. Um, didn't get a chance to go to the store today, but we did have this 6 mil MDF, which is obviously a different size, um, just hanging around. So I'm gonna have a go at using this. Uh, just about make out, I've drawn on the cutting lines for just the um, just the uh, the formwork for the burn uh, like the the uh, the burn box. I'm not sure what that's actually called. Um, and so basically, the shaded area here. This is a cross section through the box. The shaded area is um, the vermiculite and uh, refractory cement. And then this is the MDF or plywood formwork. And the first time we burn this through, it's going to burn out that. But it's also the uh, the cement used is thermo setting, so that will harden the cement as well as uh, as it burns through. And so this is my process for making the thing. I'm going to put out a, a, a big sheet of wood with a bit of plastic over the top, mark out where I'm going to uh, build a base and then build the base up just using a trowel. Formwork then is going to go on top of the base and then I'm going to fill it in and like basically plaster up the side and the burn chamber is going to be about 50 millimeters thick and it has 150 millimeter hole going through. Uh, and then there's also this bit here which are the free cutouts for the riser and I actually think this, this area here I've got, focus on it, this area here I've got enough space to do that. So I'm going to cut these all out, my camera's just about to run out of batteries so I'm going to stick it back on charge and I'll probably cut them out and tape it all together, I'm just going to use um, duct tape to attach everything. Okay, so here's the cutout parts. We've got two sides, a bottom, two end pieces, a bit that goes in there, and then two inner vertical bits. And that's going to make our kind of U-shaped burn chamber. I started out using my craft knife, but the 6 mil stuff is just too thick, so I ended up using the uh, jigsaw, which was a bit slow. I've only got a... Um, uh, like a hacksaw bit in there, so that was really, really slow. But, got it done. So I'm just going to tape it all together now. Okay, so there we go. It's the whole chamber. It's uh, just under two, uh, sorry, just over two feet long. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to put a plastic sheet down on top of this board. We're going to lay down the first bit of uh, like the base, just like lay it down with a trowel. Put the, the formwork on top and then just build it up the walls. Uh, I'm going to add in some chopped up glass fibre strands to add some reinforcement. And, uh, and then the rest is going to be cement and vermiculite. Cool, so thanks for watching. This was the day 24 update. Um, Sorry the editing is going a bit slow, I'm trying to get these edited as fast as possible, but I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers guys, bye.